Hey guys, it's Marius from Please Fix. In this video, I will give you a deep dive tutorial on how you can make text easy to read on colorful pictures in Microsoft PowerPoint. It is actually easier than you might think. If you like the tutorial, feel free to give me a thumbs up, share this video with your friends and write a quick comment to help me grow my channel. We are still almost at 100k. If you are too lazy to create the slides on your own, feel free to just download them via the link in the description of this video. Let's get right into it. All right, to start, we will just copy over a picture. Um, I got this one from Unsplash, um, but I mean, you can also get it from Pexels or something. But I mean, this one is really nice because it has this tower here and it's kind of in the highlight. And we want to have some text about Tokyo on the side. But the problem is, if we just put in text over here, I'm just going to put a lorem text here. This is also a real trick. Just type in this and hit enter and it will create text for you. So if you're just designing and don't have the content ready yet, you can simply do that. Um, first up, I'm just going to make this text white. And as you can see, for the viewer, it will be kind of hard to read um, this text over this background, especially on top here. So what do we do to overcome this? To overcome this, we first going to delete this text again. And we're just going to duplicate this picture with Command D or Control D on Windows. You can also right click and then uh, copy and then just paste again. But this is a little bit hard, so use shortcuts. It will help you. And then we are just going to drag that picture over the other one again and hit picture format. Now choose crop. And crop this picture right to the middle. So now it will look just like one picture, but it actually it's like the bottom picture with the full picture and then the top picture where you just have the right part. If you then right click the top picture and say format picture, you can find the artistic effects here on the right. And you are wanting to choose the artistic effect blur but you can't see it here so I will do it here on the top here's also the same menu and we will choose this blur filter here and then here we can change the radius so make it stronger and as you can see now everything is blurred up a little bit which will make it easier to read the text but I will just copy over some text again to to show you, to you what I mean so now it's way easier to read here at the bottom since it's not as noisy anymore. But if I pull it up here, it might be still too hard to read. So here's also another trick that you can do in order to make this look cooler and also to make text appear easier to read. So you can also go into the picture settings here and decrease the brightness. So this will kind of look like they actually have like a black glass over over the picture here with the blur effect and as you can see if I pull this part up again it is easy to read and in this case I will also put in the Tokyo headline text box um, and I'm just gonna write to Tokyo and then take it and we're gonna use bright demo is the font there it is bright demo and we will make it 199 so it's quite large and then also make it white boom center the text and as you can see this looks quite cool but if you don't want to use this effect you can also use another effect to make things easier to read on pictures so the other option you have let me just duplicate this with command d and then delete all of the stuff that we have on the slide. What you can do is you can insert a shape and just draw it over the half of the slide like this. You can use these things here on the top and on the left to help you guide. So the zero is always the middle. If you don't see those, you can go to the view tab and then you have to check mark the ruler to turn it on. 
You can also have guidelines on it, but I kind of don't like it. And also guides, that's also a possibility to just show you the middle. Sometimes they don't appear to be in the middle and then you can just drag them around to, to fit the middle. All right. Okay. As I said, we will have a rectangle over our slide. And now we are going to choose a gradient fill to give you a gradient that will still show the picture but also make your text easier to read. Okay. Um, first, I have to remove the line as well. And then we are just going to remove all of the gradient stops with this little minus. And we just need to. To make it easier to see for you, I will use black to blue at the moment. And then we want to choose left to right. So black on the left and blue on the right. And then we're going to change this over like this. Okay. And also choose black here. And then turn the transparency up to 100%. And now you will have this effect on the right side where the picture gets darker and darker. So if we're going to put on the Tokyo and the text on the bottom here, you will see that it's also much easier to read now. And if it doesn't work and you still need to expand it a little bit, you can just expand it to cover up the whole slide or mostly of the slide. But as you can see, it also makes it really, really easy to um, read the stuff that you have written on the picture. Apart from that, you can also use all kinds of other effects if you're using the first option where you choose the artistic effects like. But I kind of don't like the other ones that much. I kind of go for the blur one because I think it's the best one. So you can see like this also changes up stuff. But that's basically it for today's tutorial. Um, as always, if you like the video, feel free to subscribe. Give me a like, give me a comment on how to improve these videos further. And uh, thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video.